In a previous video, I showed you how to make this radiator cover. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fit it back to the wall and also how to scribe it over the skirting boards to give it a nice neat finish. The first thing you want to do is put some masking tape on. But you don't want the masking tape pulling off the fresh paint. So if you put it on your clothes and pull it off, it pulls off some fibres, therefore it won't stick to the paint as much. So when you peel it off, it shouldn't peel off any paint. Now we want to get the radiator cover parallel to the wall. So just measure top and bottom and then put wedges in until it measures the same top and bottom. Here I'm using a trend multi-scribe to mark the transition points in the skirting board. As you can see it's got a little level in it and that's important when we come to use the scribing tool. I'll leave links in the description below to some of the tools which I've used in the video. So as I said, every time the profile changes in a transition point, I just mark it on the masking tape. Now we take a compass or a scriber. And I like these ones because they've got the fine adjuster wheel. So you adjust the opening on the compass until the point and the pencil point is the same distance as between the wall and the radiator cover. You start marking your lines. But it's important to keep the compass level. That's why I've put level lines at the transition points as a guide. So now I'm keeping the compass level. It should give us a parallel line then to the skating board. That's all there is to it, quite simple. Now I'm cutting the scribe, you'll notice that I'm back cutting, so it'll only be the very front edge that'll be in contact with the skating board. Gives a much neater finish. And if you need to adjust it, then you only have to trim off a tiny little bit, rather than taking off the whole 18 mil thickness. So I use the panel saw for the straight cuts, and now I'm using a coping saw for the more intricate cuts and curved cuts. Again, I'm back cutting it. Awesome. 
and notice that I've turned the blade on the coping saw so I can get round the angle. It's not perfect but it's not bad, quite a neat job. There's two angle brackets underneath the radiator cover so I'm just using a long reach bit just to poke through the hole and mark the wall. Just using a homemade dust catcher to catch the dust when I drill the hole. So I'm using a 5.5 millimeter stationary bit to accept the red plug. Before you drill the holes, though, you might want to make sure there's no pipes behind where you're going to drill. The last thing you want to do is drill through a pipe and have water spurting out everywhere. Just two inch and a quarter ten screws, and that's it, it's fitted. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. See you next time.